Welcome to the channel, everyone. We are looking at a three hour chart of Dogecoin, April 18th, 9.05 p.m. Central Time. Thank you all for being here. And also, we are going to be looking at the possibility of the dollar Dogecoin. Now, I know everybody's calling for a dollar Dogecoin. Is it possible? Will we see it? Who knows? That is the correct answer in this crazy world we live in. Let's take a look at some important indicators. The RSI is at 64. That's uh, decent, uh, concerning that uh, we still have plenty of juice left in the tank. If you look at uh, previous RSI levels, just insane, upper 90s. Uh, so according to those standards, uh, we still could push upwards further. Uh, MACD showed some heavy selling, and now we are lighter and lighter selling. Uh, it'd be really easy for the MACD to reverse here. Uh, in addition to that, Ichimoku Cloud trading shows the conversion and baseline kind of tangling together uh, right at the 61.8 level. So let's take a peek at possible price points, uh, you know, Fibonacci level. Uh, 85 cents possibly uh, I want to look at the bigger picture here uh, and that's why we're, ma we're mainly on this three-hour chart uh, primarily because uh, when I see something like this and then a setup like this happen again uh, you know this this kind of setup here uh, instantly I start thinking Elliott wave theory and Elliott wave theory is basically a theory uh, that prices and projection and buying and all that stuff kind of moves in waves. Uh, for example, the wave two to three cannot be shorter than the zero to one wave. Uh, so, uh, you know, there's there's standards. Uh, certain, uh, you know, the two and the four can never be. Uh, the four can never be lower than the two, and the two can never be lower than the zero. Uh, there are certain standards that apply to Fibonacci and uh, Elliott Wave Theory. Uh, when you combine them um, together, they work great. Uh, so let's try to figure out what kind of channel this thing is trading in right now. I'm thinking this really is the start of this madness that is going on so bear with me this is where i'm going to start my trend uh, so come on so this looks like the channel we are trading in and what i'm going to do is bear with me one second folks while i get this set up i promise it'll be worth it okay so i'm going to go ahead and get that set up like that and then we are going to drag this thing as high up as I can go. Okay, bear with me one second here. I'm just going to draw a little trend line so I can kind of gauge this thing. There we go. So we're seeing uh, this 200% mark here, uh, which is crazy to me, uh, but everybody also thought that Dogecoin was crazy for doing what it just did. So bear with me one second while I just get some things adjusted. There we go. So if Dogecoin ends up taking this channel, and this is Elliott Wave Theory, uh, you can definitely see how easy it would be to get up to this level uh, in a matter of about a week's time. Uh, things I like to do when this happens is measure some big swing high and big swing low moments. And we're going to go off this swing high here to the next candle, actually, because this thing swung 36%. Almost 40%. That is crazy. Uh, the reason I'm not going to uh, measure from down here or here is because this thing dipped, went up and dipped again. So I'm looking for more of an immediate uh, swing low. This would be the first swing low. 
Uh, so with that said, let's go ahead and uh, measure off that. And interestingly enough, you can definitely see Fibonacci time zones are great uh, tools. It's a great tool to measure when events could be coming up, when pivot points or reversals are about to happen, uh, when you have hit the highest high or the lowest low. As you can see, uh, it predicted this was a, a pivot point, um, and this thing really rocked downwards. So this was a reversal and a, a, a low point. Uh, here was another uh, reversal. We had some, some bearish candles here, and it reversed nicely. So what this is telling me is that uh, the data I'm seeing from these time zones could be valid. And there is, uh, what I'm seeing, a, a higher probability that maybe the rest of these time zones will be on point. Now, getting back to um, Elliott Wave Theory, which I, I'm just an Elliott Wave Theory junkie uh, by heart. Uh, let's just say, for the sake of an argument, this thing squeezes sideways uh, or takes off at this Fibonacci time zone, which is April 18th at 10 p.m. So another, another 45 minutes from now. Um, let's just say this thing starts trending upwards, or I suppose it could squeeze uh, to the right, maybe go downwards and then up. Well, let's just say, uh, for the sake of an argument, that this up here is our next swing high. Uh, because if you think about it, if this thing breaks, starts breaking out, it could easily reach that level. Uh, within the next couple days. Uh, now we have to try to figure out uh, if uh, if any of these points here, uh, maybe this could be the next swing low, and then maybe up here could potentially be the next swing high at about 91 cents. So when you lay it out with these standards here, uh, it doesn't look so crazy, uh, but, um, you know, we have seen stranger things happen, and I think this price breakout here is definitely an example of that. Uh, now, I'm not really seeing any other Fibonacci time zones after this, so this could very well be uh, the conclusion of this Elliott Wave Theory, uh, which would be kind of crazy. Now, uh, let's do some measuring here because it is important to measure this wave here to here. Bear with me one second here. Looks like that's about 31 one, so 31 cents. And then what I'm going to do is measure from about here down to, I mean, you could even measure off this this launch pad here, 27 cents. So by theory, uh, this section two to three wave, this impulse would be uh, definitely longer than uh, the zero to one, which by Elliott wave theory standards is a must. Um, crazy things could happen here. I wouldn't be surprised to uh, see this play out just like this. Of course, this is very bold, very speculative, um, but, uh, you know, with 420, I know this sounds bad, but 420 is right around the corner. Uh, people are going to hype the heck out of this thing. Uh, and look at the next Fibonacci time zone, April 20th, 1 p.m. So this thing could get a pump. Um, and if it does, maybe up to that 56 cent level, uh, or even up to this 100% uh, level, we could also see, uh, you know, something like this happen, um, where we come up and, and meet here. Um, but I think it would be more logical to think that we'd come up and touch the top of this channel. 
Uh, so this is my wild speculation on Dogecoin at the moment. And let's just wait a few days and see if this pans out. We still need these, this uh, conversion line to cross up over this uh, baseline. And uh, since we're above the cloud, that would mean we'd be good to go. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if this thing broke down to the way it's just been pumped and dumped. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, speculative TA. Uh, again, this is just speculation. That's all it is. But, uh, you know, anything's possible. So we'll catch you guys on the flip side.